Hi, everybody, and welcome into the latest edition of Saints Live. I'm Fabian Fuentes, and we thank you for joining us here at GoLimestoneSaints.com for the latest edition of Saints Live Men's Volleyball today as we'll talk with the head coach of the Saints and Brandon Squares, and our student-athlete uh, guest this week will be Nick Wilds. We'll have those two gentlemen as well as more news and notes on the latest edition of Saints Live when we continue after this on the Saints Sports Network. Hi, everybody, and welcome back as Saints Live continues with our uh, Valentine's uh, Day episode, so to speak. Time now to talk uh, men's volleyball, and the uh, gentleman up here right now has certainly made an impact in just a short time with the uh, men's volleyball program here at the uh, Rock, and it's uh, Nick Wilds. And uh, Nick, thanks for taking time to join us. Good to be here. Well, you and the uh, tra the you and the men's volleyball team uh, have been the road travelers this year. Tell us about the schedule so far. Yeah, we started out real tough. We went out to California for our first couple of games, played three nationally ranked teams in UCLA, Long Beach State, and UC Santa Barbara, and it was a uh, it was a good experience to go out there. It was good to see play those teams and see them compete against each other. It was a good trip. What was that like to uh, be able to go out there into that environment? At the time, Santa Barbara was ranked number four in the country, uh, UCLA uh, number five, and in between you played Long Beach State ranked uh, number 12. So what was that experience like? It was incredible to see the, ta the talent compared to our conference compared to the one that's out there. It's such a, a talent gap almost that those teams are at such a, they compete at such a high level day in and day out. And it's great to be able to compete against that because then we can bring that experience back into our conference and compete at a higher level here. Now, the, the other part uh, that that trip presented was the opportunity to get into some nice weather. You're a Wisconsin native, uh -huh. so you're not used to, to being in that type of climate at this no. time of year. What was that no. like? It was definitely a nice change to go out and have some warm weather in January rather than the Wisconsin cold and snow like I'm used to. Now, if you would, you did earlier, and I have forgotten how to, to say it. You are from uh, what city or town in, in Wisconsin? Uh, Waukesha. 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 Wisconsin. So for those that may not be that familiar with Wisconsin, that's actually, what, within an hour or so of Madison, which is where University of Wisconsin is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just uh, our east of Madison, about 30 minutes west of Milwaukee, so kind of right in the middle of both of those. So you're only a sophomore. Tell us about the decision to uh, transplant so to speak, from Wisconsin, uh, Dairyland, so to speak. Mm -hmm. I was out there a few years ago and made sure I came home with my cheese wheel. But uh, tell us about making that transition from Wisconsin to uh, South Carolina. Uh, it's definitely definitely a big one. Uh, trip's a long one to move down here initially, but it's definitely nicer. I like the, the weather's a lot better down here, which is a big part of why I came down to South Carolina rather than staying, staying home in the Wisconsin cold. But Now, if you're familiar with intercollegiate athletics, you know that one of the, the great rivalries in all of college athletics is Wisconsin against Ohio State. You got to witness that growing up, but you had a special opportunity a while back to head out to uh, Columbus, Ohio, as the men's volleyball team took on the Buckeyes mm -hmm. in uh, the historic building where uh, Ohio State used to play all its basketball games. Yeah, it was a mind-blowing experience just to walk into the gym and just see all the stands, see all the seats that is able to fill just for a volleyball game. And just to see, know the history of the school and be able to walk around that and see that, is, it was incredible. Now, Nick Wilds is our guest during this segment of Saints Live, and you can catch Nick's bio online at golimestonesaints.com. But tell us about making the decision to come down here to Limestone, play for Coach Squares in what is still relatively a young program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were a very young team with only... I think two upperclassmen and mm -hmm. two juniors, no seniors on the team. So uh, we're a very young team. We're still learning to get play together. Which, but as the season goes on, we've gotten better and better at that. Which is, and we're growing very quickly. I think, and we, I think that by the end, by the end of the season, we'll be a very good team. Now Nick plays up there at the, at the net. He is a uh, primary setter who uh, had a fantastic season a uh, year ago. You started 22 of 20. 23 matches that Limestone played last year. You did that as a freshman and you averaged a, a team record as far as assists go. So tell us about that freshman campaign. 
Yeah, it was a uh, it was a really cool experience to come in and be able to play as a freshman because not not many people can be able to do that, and I was lucky enough to have that experience. And last year the team we had a lot of great mentors and upperclassmen. Mm -hmm. They really they really helped us all out because we had a big freshman class last year. They really helped us out with that, and it was an amazing experience. You got any of your teammates here today? Yeah, I have a couple of them. Bruno and uh, Alejandro are both here. How about the difference for you as a, as a freshman compared to this year as a sophomore? I think I'm able to uh, be getting that freshman playing experience last year really helped and now that I'm able to, I'm able to put that into use this year with the more ex inexperienced team that we have mm -hmm. having the younger guys I'm thinking I'm able to give them that experience that I got last year. Nick the uh, tough non-conference schedule that you and your teammates played evidently has paid off because I believe you've won five of your first seven uh, within conference Carolina's mm -hmm. play. Yeah we've started out five and two in conference which is it's a very strong start and where I think we're just one game out of first place right now so as long as we keep keep playing hard I think we're I think we'll be able to contend for first place in conference only a sophomore I don't want to I don't want to rush you to graduation I know coach squares doesn't want to see that happen but tell us your major and uh, what you would like to do after graduation I know it's a few years away but you know never too early to start yeah. thinking about those after college plans uh, uh, majoring in criminal justice uh, I'm hopefully uh, going to work some at, in the long run in the DEA or some 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 organiz organization like that that's the long long term goal at least well finally how about uh, some thoughts uh, from a recruiting standpoint what would be some of the selling points for you to a prospective uh, recruit to join you and, and the team here at the rock uh, uh, better weather obviously warmer weather year-round uh, for the most part but uh, the academics are great here you always get the one-on-one -on -one instruction from your teachers with the small class sizes and you always have that. So I think that's a, that was a big part of why I came here, was the academic side. Well, of Nick, we're, we're glad to have you here, and we look forward to not only the remainder of this season, but uh, two more years ahead for you with uh, Coach Squares and the volleyball program. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. It's right. a pleasure to be here. Nick Wilds, our guest, stay with us. When we come back, we're going to go to the top of the ladder of the men's volleyball program and talk with Brandon Squares. That when we continue after this on the Saints Sports Network. Hi, everybody. Welcome back as Saints Live continues on the Saints Sports Network and here at Gaffney's Hot FM. Men's volleyball for you today. Talked with Nick Wilds, sophomore standout, just a few minutes ago. And as I mentioned prior to the commercial break, uh, we're going straight to the top of the ladder here. And the gentleman sitting up here with me, uh, certainly a familiar face and a familiar voice when it comes to volleyball here at the Rock. But uh, Brandon Squares, good to see you, my friend. Thanks, Fabian. It's always nice to see you. How long have you been here now? Because I know you, you wear dual hats. You, you do women's volleyball in the in the fall and now the uh, men's volleyball program, winter and spring. Yeah, this is uh, my second season as the head coach. I've been here four years. I want to ask you about the non-conference schedule. I uh, enjoyed talking with uh, Nick Wilds uh, a few minutes ago, but obviously that, that rigorous non-conference schedule that's paying off now that you're full-fledged into conference Carolina's play. But uh, just a list of, of who's who uh, earlier this year, UCLA, Santa Barbara, that, that had to be a, a fantastic experience, not only for the players, but maybe you as a coach. Yeah, it was, uh, it was quite an experience for the guys um, to see that level. Uh, six foot eight across the front row. Um, we look small compared to them. And we're not small. I mean, 6'6", six, six, Joel Mobach, 6'6". Six, six. So we're not real small, but we, we were kind of dwarfed by these guys. And uh, the level of play is just, uh, it's a lot higher, higher level, um, better skilled, things like that. But to play at UCLA um, and at Long Beach State um, is unbelievable. Uh, the, the head coach of the men's national team is the UCLA head coach, John Spira. Um, so getting to talk to him and uh, the guys just kind of getting to play in front of him, I think it's just unbelievable. I mean, to, to be able to give our, our student athletes that opportunity, um, we're very lucky. Um, the administration is behind us. Um, it's quite a quite a journey. Um, so we, we had a great time out there. Um, 
we competed, which is what we, uh, we had wanted to do. Um, but, you know, Santa Barbara is a beautiful campus. Um, and so the guys really got to enjoy California, um, you know, got to see the beach, things like that. And so, that was going to be my next question, making a trip out there such as that. Did you have any time to maybe deviate from what you were out there to do to, to maybe take in some of, the, some of the sites? Or, you know, was your time pretty much uh, crunched? It was, uh, it was a business trip. Uh, normally we do spend some time off the court going to major cities and things like that. We really didn't have time. We flew in on Thursday, practiced Thursday night, played Friday, two matches on Friday, one match on Saturday, and flew home Sunday morning. Um, with it being such a long flight, you don't get to spend a lot of time. I didn't want the guys to miss any more class than we had already missed. Um, so we really didn't get to spend a lot of personal time out there, um, except for maybe like Saturday night before we flew out. Um, we were able to drive back to Los Angeles and stay in the hotel and right next to the airport. But uh, In-N-Out Burger, I guess, is, uh, was, our, was our favorite thing, so <laughs> that, that definitely was personal. Um, Alejandro loves that, um, so we, we definitely visited uh, In-N-Out Burger. Bruno, not a big fan, but uh, it's, a, it's definitely a landmark in California. Well, well let me ask you this, because that has to be a, a feather in the cap for you to be able to tell prospective recruits, hey, you know, this year we went out to Santa Barbara, California. You also made the trip to Ohio State. All four of those opponents that you faced on those trips combined were, were ranked at the time that you played them, but that has to be a feather in your cap to be able to present that to prospective recruits. Yeah, that's, that's correct, Fabian. We, um, we try to get these guys as close to home as possible. Uh, it's a good recruiting tool uh, to say, hey, you're coming from California, you're going to meet your commitment. Okay, in two years, we're going to go back out there so you can play in front of your family. Um, not a lot of those parents can get, get all the way out here to South Carolina, um, but it's it's always nice to be able to go close to home, have a good fan base. We had quite quite a lot of parents out in California and in Ohio, so it's uh, it's nice to see some familiar faces for sure. To me, and honestly, not that familiar when it comes to scheduling men's volleyball. But was that somewhat of a coup for you in the program to be able to have an opportunity, one, to fly cross country, and secondly, to play the competition that you did? Yeah, that was an invitation. Actually, um, we were invited by the head coach of UC Santa Barbara, and that's a that's a huge honor um, for us to be able to do that. Um, and so that that hopefully will get us back to those tournaments. And we were competitive. It wasn't a you know, like we went out there and just sat down on the floor and said, hey, come and beat us, yeah. you know. We gave them a, quite a run. Long Beach State was our best our best match, and we, we played them really tight, and they were 12th in the country, and they're still ranked. Ohio State beat Penn State last night in three. We took a set off of Ohio State. So, you know, we're, we're competitive, and it's it's fun. It's, it's a ton of fun, and as long as these guys are having fun and staying focused and, and working through the process, like, like uh, Nick said, we're, we're still learning how to, to react to each other. Um, we're only a month into the season, and uh, we've played 14 matches. So it's, uh, that's an advantage. Um, but the guys are beat up, so we're trying to give them a little bit of rest here now that we don't play until next Tuesday. Yeah, and speaking of which, 5-2 uh, and two in conference play, uh, Coach Squares, as, as we close it out here with you, uh, you know, let's talk quickly about the, the rest of the season so far, 5-2 and two in league play. Yeah, we're excited. Uh, we're excited to be 5-2, and two, but we got a long way to go. Um, we're almost halfway through the conference. Uh, the only team we haven't played are Manuel and uh, Erskine. Um, but we're, we're about halfway through, and so we're going to go on the road here soon, which is never fun. Um, we like playing in Timken, but uh, we look to compete again to get into the tournament, and then once you're in the tournament, you got to survive. So uh, we'll get into the tournament being 5-2 right now, uh, looking at it, but uh, that's not our ultimate goal. We want to win the tournament and then get to the NCAAs. That's the head coach of the men's volleyball program, Brandon Squares. More on men's volleyball is available online at GoLimestoneSaints.com. Coach, thanks for your time. Thanks, Fabian. Back to put the finishing touches on this week's show when Saints Live, an inside look at Limestone Athletics, continues on the Saints Sports Network. That'll do it for the latest edition of Saints Live here on the Saints Sports Network. We thank you so much for stopping by GoLimestoneSaints.com, a softball-only edition coming up next Thursday from 12 to 12.30. Here at GoLimestoneSaints.com.